Let's take a quick look at groups. So we don't use groups internally for us, but one of the great thing about groups is that you can basically create a group with a certain topic. Uh, let's just say we wanted to make this uh, something about like a website project. So you can add a description, you can create the email address for that. So we just maybe we want to call this website at AmplifiedSolutions.com. And then we can designate a user. It's going to pull up our users as we add people here. And then once we've got that right, we can go to the next. And then there's a number of settings here. You can keep this internally or announcement only or restrict, restricted or, or set a custom level um, of group access. Um, you can also set it to be organizational wide or only the people that you have invited here specifically. Um, and you can also select if you'd wanna allow members from outside your organization into the group. And essentially it's a little bit like a, uh, almost a message board of old. You can easily reply um, to any messages and they go to the whole group. It also creates a bit of a thread, uh, really kind of old school forum style where uh, the whole conversation is laid out a bit. Uh, let's see if we can do this here and then hop into it. So yeah, this is still the back end of it. So you won't see the front end of it here sure there's a way to get to it, but this is a good way to have some ongoing conversation or maybe have like a leadership team group. Uh, it's not, I don't necessarily recommend this for uh, something where you'd wanna add your whole team. It just becomes a lot of reply all emails. And frankly, there are a lot of better platforms for group dialogue now.